So what natural laws is it that you think the, the, the globe vi violates? Um, I mean, um, let, let's try and avoid talking about reification fallacies and, and stuff and what is and isn't a model and just try and focus on um, the natural laws that we've been talking about and what it is you think about the globe that violates them. Uh, you mentioned the, the first law of thermodynamics um, uh, and you mentioned um, a, a natural law of entropy. So uh, what would you want to talk about? Well, you can choose any one. It doesn't matter. Well, OK, let, let's, you want to go first. Well, let's start with the, the natural law of entropy. What, what, was the, what is the, that law that you're talking about? The second law of thermodynamics. OK, right, cool. That, that's easy. Um, I did 18 months of thermodynamics in, in my degree, so I know quite a lot about thermodynamics. So um, what is the second? Could you just tell me uh, what your understanding of what the second law of thermodynamics is? Uh, well, the second law of thermodynamics, it's more, I can say it's more concerned with entropy. It's which is produced by a process and is associated with the loss of ability to do work. The second law states that the entropy of the universe increases. So we do agree entropy can't decrease. It's always going to increase. Um, I would. Right. OK, let, let's start with um, a, a very important thing about the second law of thermodynamics, and that is the type of system that it deals with. What, what kind of system is that? Are you saying it's thermo uh, isolated systems? Well, that is what the second is law of thermodynamics is, isn't it? Because the second law of thermodynamics deals with um, entropic processes within a th uh, an isolated system. So uh, <clears> the, isolate, the isolated system that it's talking about is the universe, right? Okay. So are you saying that we're in an isolated system? I'm saying that the universe is an isolated system. Um, and that is what the second law of thermodynamics refers to. And... It is an absolute Maybe. fact that the the entropy of the isolated system, the universe, always increases. Correct. And Earth is it closed or open? Earth is classed as a closed system in physics. That's not true because you, you claim to have astronauts leaving Earth. So yeah, um, because a, a, a closed system in physics allows for the transfer of small parts of matter um, and, and energy. Um, it's not completely uh, isolated like an isolated system. It, it allows for some transfer of energy between systems, um, whereas obviously an open system and isolated system are the other ends of those. Uh, so no. when when the when we're talking about systems, the Earth is classed as a closed system, um, and the universe is the only isolated system that there is. And, and I will agree with you that the, the entropy of an isolated system will always increase. But that doesn't mean that you cannot have systems within that isolated system that within their own um, isolated part reverse the laws of entropy. For instance, what happens inside your fridge freezer? Well, from the perspective of inside the fridge freezer, the laws of entry of entropy are being reversed. Of course, if you look at the larger system of that, yeah. the, the process of the fridge freezer doing that releases heat into the room that it's included in. So the entropy of the room that the fridge freezer in has increased, but the entropy within the fridge freezer itself has decreased. And that's what the second law of yeah. thermodynamics talks about. And okay, as the so Earth isn't an isolated system, it's not bound by the second law of thermodynamics that entropy can only increase because it's not an isolated system okay can i can yeah, I give sorry, you, over to you. So you're trying to tell me are you trying to tell me then earth is an iso, isothermic system like a fridge you know that's I, a constant I, i'm saying that earth is a closed system and not an isolated system it's a it's a micro system within the larger isolated system you, you know what the isothermic system is you just explained it with the fridge. Yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Earth Within a constant temperature. Um, Earth, has Earth, a constant constant, temperature. Earth has a constant energy input and output. So PV on NRT is strong now? Well, that's an ideal gas, gas law. Everything, yeah, but you're saying everything is constant. That's not true. No, I'm not saying everything is constant. I'm saying that <clears throat> the energy of a closed system or an open system can reverse 
entropy within that particular system. Um, and this, this is what I mean, okay? The th second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of an isolated system will always increase. It doesn't talk about a closed system. So when um, flat earthers in general say, well, the, the earth violates the second law of thermodynamics because the atmosphere is next to space, that, that is a strong man because we're not saying that it's violating any laws. That's what you guys are saying. We're saying that it's not an isolated system, so it's not bound by those strict definitions of the second law of thermodynamics. The isolated system is the universe. Um, you've heard about that uh, quote from, where is it? It's quite quick here. You're going to say Bill uh, Nye, right? From Arthur, Ed Arth from Arthur Eddington. If your theory is found to be against the second law of thermodynamics, I give you no hope. There is nothing for it but mm -hmm. to collapse in the deepest humiliation. You understand that, right? Yep, and it's not against the second law of thermodynamics. And it is because you just said that you are reversing entropy, entropy can't reverse. In an isolated system. The Earth isn't you an isolated system. Us, yes, and you're, you're correct. It, you're correct. And a closed system is not an isolated system. And the second law of thermodynamics, if you actually cite the actual second law of thermodynamics, it specifically mentions it's an ice, the entropy of an isolated system can all only increase. It doesn't say that the entropy of okay. a closed system can increase because, well, like I said, inside of a fridge freezer, inside of a fridge, inside of a car with the AC on, you know, these are all um, entropy being reversed on a micro scale. But the actual macro scale, the entropy still increases because energy is used or, or transferred from one form to another to create the micro system where entropy is going the other way. So you're saying Earth is an adiabatic system? I'm saying Earth is a closed system. 